The story of Loki, the boy who has no face, was well known in Barangay Tanglao. Some people would mock him because he is different from them. That's why the boy who has no face remains alone. He walks and walks and walks and never get tired because now he is numb. During his journey, he met a girl wandering around the tree. With curiosity, he watched the girl. He asked himself, What makes her happy? Why can't I be like them? The girl noticed Loki and smiled at him. Loki felt something as it is his first time seeing someone smiling at him instead of mocking him. He didn't know how to respond that is why he just started walking again. The girl stopped Loki and greeted him. No expression was seen on Loki, yet Loki felt strange. It is a new feeling for him. Hi, what's your name? asked the girl. It is the first time someone asked him for his name. People around him just called him No Face. I am No Face, answered Loki. I know you have No Face, but your real name? asked the girl. Loki, said Loki in a timid voice. Hi Loki, I am Hope. Do you want to look for your face? Hope offered happily. Will you help me? Hope smiled in return. They set out on their adventure in finding Loki's face. Hello, I am Hope. Did you know that everyone has a shell? That shell contains our identity, our face, personality, emotions, and even our feelings. Now, Loki lost his shell that is why he lost everything about him. I will help Loki find his face and I need your help. Behind every activities are the puzzle pieces of Loki's shell. Help us, pretty please? Human shell looks like this. Loki's shell was divided into five parts in which we need to look for so it will be back in its original form. Here are the parts with their corresponding topics. Mental health Emotional health Social health Developing mental, emotional, and social health Coping skills Now, let's start the adventure! The two continue their journey. They walk and walk and walk as they look for answers when suddenly A house appeared in front of their eyes they look at each other and decided to enter the house. The house looks normal. They look and look and look when they heard a loud clank at their back. A fluffy and cute creature greeted them. Hi, who are you? Asked Loki. Loki, finally you came, said the creature. The two look at each other amazed as the creature knows Loki. Of course I know you. I part of you. I am part of your shell. So, how do we get the shell? Can you give it to Loki? Hmm, not that easily. You need to assemble first the letters on the magic tablet. Check it out. Wow, you got it right! I am so happy that I will be back to Loki. But before I dissolve myself, I will discuss first what is mental health all about. Mental health, also called the intellectual domain of health, is the capacity to interpret, analyze, and act on information. It includes your emotional and social well-being. To give you an idea of a person's mental health, Listen to a person's reasoning or notice how a person recognizes the sources of influence over his or her beliefs or actions. Having an alert mind, learning from mistakes, and recognizing achievements are some of the distinct qualities of someone who is mentally healthy. Well, Loki was actually a happy kid. 
He always wore a smile on her face. One day, his family died in an accident. He was alone and put to an orphanage. He became so sad and started not talking to other people. And because of that, his first show, me, unattached to him. And now, Loki's back! I am so happy that you finally built the courage to look for your missing shells. With that, I will now dissolve and be your shell. It is still hard to recognize his face but Hope felt happy as it is a big improvement for Loki. As per Loki, he feels as if some parts of the darkness that attached to him became lighter. The two continue the journey with a happy heart. After their long walk, they finally see an old building, an orphanage. They look at each other and run towards it with full of excitement. When they opened the door, a colorful man and twin fruit-like creature greeted them. Hi, I am Chloe, your second shell. Hello, I am Woodle Yellow, and this is my twin Waddle Red. We are your third shell. I am so happy that you are here, Loki. We waited for so long. I am excited to become your shell again, said Chloe. To make me your shell again, Check and answer this. Loki logged in and answered the EQ test on the magic tablet. He had fun answering the questions. A score was given after the test and he had the smile on his face when he gave the tablet back to Chloe. Chloe was so happy when he saw the result. Hope, on the other hand, was amazed on the improvements Loki have shown. Um, by the way, you also need to answer the EQ test. The link will be posted. Send the result as well. Good luck! Well, my shell is all about emotional health. Emotional health is the ability to manage your emotions and feelings. It is also how one reacts to events in his or her life. Are you aware of your feelings and how you express them? An emotionally healthy person communicates self-control and self-acceptance, expressing a full range of feelings in socially acceptable ways. Experiencing positive emotions is great, but you should also learn how to manage negative emotions without being self-destructive or becoming the threat to others. Um, when Loki was here at the orphanage, he was always sad. No emotions can be seen on his face. And now Loki's back! I am very happy that you finally build the courage to look for your missing shells. Before I become your shell, you need to meet first the twins. Yay! We are so happy that you were able to take the test. For us, we don't need the test but we will discuss what our shell is all about. Social health is how well one gets along with others. It is reflected by his or her social skills. Since you interact with different people every day, you should be able to maintain comfortable relationships at home, in school, and in your community. A socially healthy person also gives and accepts help and respects other people's uniqueness. If you do not accept others because you are too focused on yourself, it limits your social health and undermines the quality of life of others. When Loki was here at the orphanage, he excluded himself from his friends and even the guardians. He doesn't socialize with other people. The three of us are excited to be back again as your shell, Loki. We are now ready. Chloe told Loki. Hope and Loki are thrilled because Loki's face is now visible. Loki cried with astonishment. It's back! I am back! Yes, you're back, Loki. But your face is not yet clear. We still need to accomplish something. Are you ready? Ask Hope with a smile on her face. Loki nodded at Hope. Well, are you looking for me? The two was shocked as a voice from behind asked them. Hi, I am Goliath. I have your fourth and last shell. Since you already have the first and third shell, it will be easier for you to get my parts too. 
my parts will be about developing your mental, emotional, and social health. Listen to me carefully, okay? Ways to develop and nurture one's mental, emotional, and social health. Liking yourself. You should be proud of who you are because you are unique. You have qualities and skills that are truly likable. Examining your behavior. Reflect on your own conduct. Some do this before going to bed when they think of what they did the whole day. Accepting your limitations. Think of your competency or skill in terms of your success rather than your failures. If things do not work out the way you plan, learn from your mistakes. Dealing with the problem as it arises, stop worrying about what if, face them. Prevent and manage conflicts and other stress in healthy ways. Communicate by explaining and not shouting. Expressing your emotions by how it makes you feel, not how others make you feel. Communicate your feelings using the I messages. You could also ask for help for troublesome feelings. You can talk to your guidance counselors and teachers when you are in school or to your parents or any trusted adult in your family when you are at home. You should also be empathetic toward others. Think of what it would be like to be in their shoes. There are many more ways on how to develop our mental, emotional, and social health. But the bottom line is, we should establish and maintain healthy relationships at home, in school, and in our community. We need to have a harmonious relationship with other people. To understand it clearly, here's your test. You need to create your own coping skills wheel, Loki. Check the magic tablet. Making the coping skills wheel. You need to list some activities that you like on each part of the wheel as a solution whenever you have a problem. Try playing with the wheel whenever you feel bad. You may also challenge yourself to actually do the activity as your way of coping with bad feelings. Loki handed back the tablet to Goliath. Goliath was so happy when he saw what Loki written on the wheel. I am excited to be back again as your shell, Loki. I am now ready. Goliath told Loki. I made it! Loki cried happily. My face is back! Loki. It is now time to face the world again. Thank you very much, Hope. I am glad to help, Loki. Let's go back to town. Loki smiled in return. Now, Loki is ready to face the world. The two headed back to town with full of love and happiness inside their hearts. <laughs>